Dak is basically taking a page out of the Kirk Cousins free agent playbook, and he'll have a chance, if he wants, to get to that free agent market to test his value. But it almost feels like Jerry Jones feels like people respond when their backs are against the wall, when they're in the last year of their deal. He could have extended Mike McCarthy, didn't. Mike McCarthy coaching it out. Could have extended Dak Prescott, didn't. Dak's going to play it out. Now, a lot of people say, well, what about Jerry? What are they going to do at quarterback if they lose Dak? That's interesting. And that's why I think the Dallas Cowboys might just be a sleeper team in the quarterback market during the Ooh. draft. Because at some point in time, they might have to draft a quarterback higher than you'd think at some point in time. Because Dak is going into the last year of the contract, and it might be time Oof. to get somebody in there to start grooming him. Just like they found Dak Prescott in round four, might be time to go find another Don't quarterback in another round to begin to get him ready. I mean, we could be looking at Green Bay Packers type. You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? Yeah, here we go! Cause he want a light And a light I've been with Midnight through the city I've been going through some things Trying to get my mind right Push the bucket to the lid Push that bitch into the fence Gotta get the full control Gotta get my mind right And a light I've been with Midnight through the city I've been going through some things Trying to get my mind right Push the bucket to the lid Push that bitch into the fence Gotta get the full control Gotta get my mind right What's going on, Cowboys Nation? It's your boy DMV back with another one. Normally, I do my morning videos like I, I, I say to y'all all the time, but I just saw this clip from Adam Schefter, and it was pretty, pretty uh, interesting. So I saw it on RJ Ochoa's uh, Twitter, but it, it goes with something that I was saying Friday with E2 Blue. Where my was... issue with the whole thing is they're, they're, they, they got their toes in the water telling you that it's all in. That's been my issue from yeah. day one. So if you got any inklings that Dak Prescott is not your quarterback, don't spit on me and tell me it's raining. It's raining. Right. Don't spit on me and tell me it's raining. If you feel like Dak might not be your quarterback, y'all should be looking at quarterbacks right now. Well, I was just thinking, well, if y'all are going all in like y'all say y'all are and, and going with the actions in which y'all are showing – your actions don't really line up with, you know, going all in on the guys that you really want here. And the guys that you really want here, Dak would be one of those guys, right? And I would think that you guys would be at the table really negotiating or you guys would have called him knowing that he has the leverage here. Dallas is not giving in on this leverage thing uh, before the draft. So in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, well, why wouldn't you guys just go ahead and look at a quarterback in this draft? Why wouldn't you use your resources? And and just to let you guys know, because I don't want people to think that this is a clickbaiting video or anything like that, nothing that Dallas has done indicates that they're looking at a quarterback. So I don't want you guys to think that I believe Dallas is looking at a quarterback. You know, Adam, Adam, this isn't a report from Adam. This is Adam talking, like just, just talking, like, like chumming it up. With, with people around and stuff like that. So I don't want anybody to, to misconstrue what Adam Schefter said as a, as a real report. But with that being said, I thought it was interesting because I feel the same exact way. I feel like if you're not all in on who your quarterback is or you don't truly trust him, then go ahead and look at another quarterback. Now, I get it, though. Everybody's on one-year contracts, and they did talk about that. It's an interesting carousal where you got Mike McCarthy in the one-year deal. You got you got um, Micah Parsons. They picked up the fifth-year option. CeeDee Lamb's looking at an extension right now. And, and CeeDee Lamb, obviously, you know, people are talking about a holdout, but CeeDee Lamb's going to be back. CeeDee Lamb's going to be a cowboy. But what's interesting is if CeeDee Lamb, if you're going to, you know, enter a contract where you're going to pay him over $30 million, you got to make sure – that you got a quarterback in here that you really want with CD to pair up with him for for the for the long term, and if you feel like it's not that, or if you feel like you want to you know set fire to him, I do not believe Trey Lance is enough. 
from what I've been hearing, from what I know. Now, again, training camp, OTAs, all that stuff is, is, is far away. It's not here right now. But for what we know, I I don't think anybody believes Trey Lance is holding a, a, a fire to Dak Prescott. But if the Cowboys were to go out here and draft a quarterback, maybe so. We saw with Aaron Rodgers when they drafted Jordan Love. And I'm not saying draft a quarterback at 24, but when they drafted Jordan Love, you know, the writing was on the wall for Aaron that there was a that, that there was a timetable there. Went off, reeled off two MVPs. Um, you know, wasn't a whole bunch of playoff success with that. But what I'm saying is that fire lit something up under him. Brett Favre, when they brought in Aaron Rodgers, that 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 was the best, one of the best years of his career when they brought in Aaron Rodgers behind him. You know, so if you look at the Kansas City Chiefs, and if Dallas feels like their roster is structured pretty good, Kansas City went up and traded up and got a quarterback, and we're looking at a quarterback that's won three Super Bowls by now. So if Dallas truly feels like we don't think Dak can get it done, then I suggest you not enter a $60 million contract. Do I think Dak is good enough to get it done with with the, with the, with the uh, a solid roster? I do, and I didn't just stutter there because I don't believe it. But I believe in this, baby. I believe in running backs matter. I, I believe that with a proper running game, I think Dak can take us the, the whole way. You know, and they're looking at that in this draft. So I believe with a running game, with a running back, a special running back, I think we can get things done. That's just how I would do it. But if you're not truly all in on your quarterback and you think that maybe bringing in some, some young blood could either make him better or be better for the long run, then go ahead and do it. Now, again, don't think it's going to happen. But I just thought it was interesting that Adam said it. Now, watch this take off like a wildfire right before the draft and we start talking about, oh, could Dallas draft a quarterback? I'm here to tell you, I don't think they're going to draft a quarterback. But maybe they should look at it. If Michael Penix is if Penix is looking at 24, in my mind, look, you, you had to look at him. You got to look. You know what, you, you know what he did at, at, at his pro day and all that type of stuff. I think you would be doing yourself a disservice not to think about it, not to think about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's coming from me, one a, a Dak Prescott fan, somebody who wants to see him succeed. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. I already know people are going to be up in arms with what I'm saying, but it's more so about team building. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not personal. It's not personal when it comes to this. Love football. And I, I recognize that certain pe people aren't bigger than the game. Players aren't bigger than the game. Players make the game, but they aren't bigger than the game. So this is strictly talking from a team building aspect. Appreciate y'all though, man. I'm out. Peace.